You recently bumped into K Flock. <laughs> I bumped into that nigga like I used to see that nigga a lot and shit before all the rap shit. Like I ain't really know like boy was on some op shit. I'm not gonna lie, like I got family in that area and shit. Like all through the Bronx, everywhere. Like I got family member in every hood, my hood, ops hoods, every hood. Like fucking family is huge. So long story short, um, rest in peace, my man Ra, bro. My man Ra Ra, bro. I was dropping Ra Ra and Nesty and all of them off to 8-0. And it's crazy because Ra was telling me, yo, bro, take me to the bank on Fordham. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, it's mad of these little niggas in my car. They got mad guns. I want to get them from the studio to home. I don't want to take these niggas nowhere extra. So I'm like, listen, Ra, I love you, but I'm not taking you to the bank, bro. I'm taking y'all niggas right back where I picked y'all up at, and y'all niggas go straight in the house. Because this is a war zone in the Bronx. It's not no game. That shit is like Chicago now. I see. It's not no game. So me as an older mentor, I was trying to teach them that discipline of not doing nothing extra that you don't have to do. Send somebody else to the store. Go to the studio, go in the house. Because I already seen them niggas heating up, and I already seen what was going on in their community. First hand, you feel me? So I dropped them niggas off first, and as I drive off, two, three blocks down, who I see pulled over by the D's? K Flock. K Flock. So in my head, I'm like, yo, this nigga is so fucking lucky. Because if these little niggas would have seen this nigga, this shit would have been different. <laughs> you heard? Because these niggas, they don't give a fuck about the police. They don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. Like, I don't care. There's no big homies. There's no leaders. There's nobody calling shots in these streets no more. These little niggas doing what the fuck they want to do. And it, no matter if I was my car or rental, whatever, they would have switched cheese that nigga. I know they would have. With the cops right there? Yes. They couldn't wait to catch him. They wanted that nigga that bad, nigga. They want that. Them niggas is outside really trying to kill each other outside, bro. And no you dropped finishing. them off before you seen them? I just dropped them niggas off. Yes. Okay. Uh, three blocks, two and a half blocks, 80, 83rd. Like, and I'm not saying that in a way, like... To incriminate nobody in no type of way, bro. But it's a war zone out there. It's kill or be killed. And that's just, there's no sugar in it. My niggas gonna protect themselves and them niggas gonna protect themselves. And I wish everybody stopped that shit because there's so much money out here in this music industry. And I don't want y'all niggas to fuck up y'all career like I did in the beginning because I wanted to do too much. You know? Like I'm lucky to still be relevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't understand that struggle, how you could be hot today and not hot tomorrow. And they risk, they risking it by still being in the hood. So it was like, bro, I bumped into that nigga. I rolled the window down. Yo, you good? You need a lawyer? Like, he start laughing. What? Nigga, pull over right there, nigga. Wait for me to finish getting searched, nigga. I'm going to pull up, nigga. You know what it is. Like, be saying this in front of the white shirts. Like, I'm like, yo, what? Did you just say that? Pulled up a little up the block. I was looking through the rear view mirror to see if they was done searching the nigga. Nigga was taking mad long, bro. I just drove off, man. Man, I ain't playing this game. I almost fed into that shit. I almost, I almost fed into that shit, right? 15 minutes later, this nigga go live. Oh, I just chased paparazzi pole. I said, see? 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 This is the this the internet shit I be this the shit. I, 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 and that's why you see on the live, I'm like, damn, I thought you was different. Yeah. You, you, you fooled me. You made me believe that shit, mm -hmm. that you was talking to me. When I met you, you had that energy. You was on it. But you was on it in front of them niggas, and it was nothing we could do at that point. It's fucking white shirts, it's D's, everybody's there. But 
He got on the internet and said he chased me. Why did you run? What the live said? I'm like, gay flop. He hurt me with that. I'm like, not you. I thought you was like me. I thought you was one of those, nigga. Like, I believed you, nigga. Fuck, nigga. Like, but when you rolled down the window, why did he have, why was he already kind of like, had that, you know, that passive aggressive energy with you? Like, he already He did. didn't, because he was, he was, he was confused because he didn't know who I was. I pulled up next to him, stopped traffic. He's pulled over. I rolled the window down. Hey, yo, K. Yo, you good? He looking at me. I, I got on Cardi's, a Bape hoodie, fucking Chrome Hearts hat, low. He, he see me, but he don't know it's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, But his girl, his baby mom, whoever that was, she recognized me. She like, yo, that's Paparazzi Poe. Like, he like, what? She like, nigga, that's Poe. Like, that's Paparazzi. Like, so he turned around. He like, what? Nigga, pull over right now. Feel me? So I'm like, okay, man. Like, damn, bro, do you making it hot? Like, but yo, I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Just chill out. Like, keep it down. You making it hot? You already know what it is when these niggas let me go. Pull up, pull up right here. I'm like, oh, this nigga wild. Wow. <laughs> Get out of here. Then he went on live. I'm like, come on, K. I could have been exposed you. I could really tell the world how you started a fake beef with me. I got pictures of you in the studio recording. You say you was not YGK, that it was music, that you want me to diss you because when I diss Jiggy Man, his numbers went up. Like, you wanted to fake a whole beef with me in the music industry, and I wasn't even trying to do that with you. Now you on the internet talking about I ran from you. Why would I run, nigga? You ain't got no beef with me, nigga. You don't got no beef with me. My little man's is on your heels. That's this, that. That shit don't got nothing to do with me, bro. But if I niggas bump into me, nigga, I'm moving like I'm YG. So, you know, that's how that shit go. But that kid, man, yo, I hope they let him out. I know he ain't do it. He's such a punk faker. That could have been the whole setup. <laughs> he could have set that whole shit up. You see how they said he was on live? He was doing a... That could be a whole lineup. He probably locked up for some shit he ain't even do. Probably just got cold with the gun or something. You heard? 